What is going on guys? Today I'm just going to show you how to do basic buoyancy on just some assets down a body of water. So all we have it doing is basically going up and down at the same or very similar speeds to basically just look like your objects are going up and down the water. So let's get started showing you how to do that. Now it, it is a very simple way to do it. You can have more complex ways that you can find on YouTube that requires programming or blueprints that if you have waves it will go up with the waves and everything. This will not be for that. It's just, you know, to show you it going up and down with just some basic water. So let's jump into our actual material and I'll show you what it's doing. So if we look right here, let's bring that forward a little bit. This is all it is. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes, and then it's connected to your world position because that's what controls where the object is in the scene. We've got time, that's basically going between two values. We've got a sign, um, that's going between minus one and one. So when we connect it up, it will go between minus one and one, which is what we we want it to be going between, you know, above and below zero. So that way your asset will go above its starting point and below its starting point. You then divide it, just, I divide it to make sure my default values tighter together. Uh, so that way, if I do want it to only go up and down very, very, like a subtle amount, it will do. Then we can multiply it. And this is a one constant. So one left click, and then you convert to a parameter, which will let me dynamically change it. And the more I increase this value, the higher and lower it will go in your water and how high and low your water itself will go if you're changing the value there, which is what this, um, what this is right now. Then right here, sadly, this is <laughs> only showing up as black. There you go. We're just using a free constant, so free left click. With a blue at one value. So what this will do, because your Z axis is represented by your blue, if we have it as one value on blue and zero on red and green, it will only control it in the Z axis. So that way it will only go up and down. It won't go left, right, back and forward. It will only go up and down. And then you multiply that with your stuff over here. And if I go to my barrels, we can see that it's done the exact same way. There's some values you can adjust, and I'll show you that in a minute, which will basically, you know, make it look like the the barrels are sort of bobbing in and out of the water a little bit. But I'll show you that in a minute as I'm showing you how to make it. So let's get started. So I'm going to pop this on the other monitor so I have a reference to look at. And we'll get rid of everything that I did here. So I already did a test for it and we'll start again so you know you want your basic colors of your so if you've got a texture for it obviously you're throwing your texture um, I'm just gonna go for some basic colors here just to get the job done and then so down here you want to start off with time if you don't know how to get these nodes up if you right click anywhere or you type up here, you could type in whatever you're looking for. So time, and you could drag it in from here, or you can right click, right time, press enter. If you are typing something and it happens to select something, to select something else, so let's say, I don't know, select one of the other ones, you can just click the one you want, like double click, and it will bring it through. All right, so we want to connect this up to a sign, so you can either right click and write sign, or you can grab your actual node ending right sign so when you let go or let you type and it will automatically connect for you now again what sign is doing is going between minus one and one but what this value is doing is it's telling it how long it needs to take to go between those two values now if my computer was a little bit faster i'd be able to show you a preview here but unfortunately it's a little slow so i have this default at um 10 because at one it goes on off on off on off it's very quick we don't want the water to be jumping upwards and downwards or the um, asset in the water going upwards and downwards that quickly you go as you can see i want it at 10 it'll be a bit of a smoother transition and it just looks a bit nicer again you can change this to whatever you want you don't need to follow the numbers exactly to how i'm doing it i'm just doing it to how i prefer doing it um so you've got divide there you go we don't want to multiply that. We then um, one left click to get your one constant, right click it, convert to parameter. We'll call it something like height multi, which will let us dynamically change how high and low it goes. And then lastly, connect that up to another multiply, connect that up to a free constant, so free left click, 
we want it to be blue because we only want it to go in the Z direction again. Uh, you can have this either way around as well because it's just multiplying it like here. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, again, having it only um, one in blue means it will only go in the Z axis. So it's only going to be going up and down because we don't want it to go in any other direction. And then simply connect that to your world position offset. And you're done. That's it. Now, again, like I said, we'll have it so I can show you what I'm changing here. My default at the moment is 15. And I'll show you what it does in just a second. So we'll click apply. We'll give it a little bit of a wait just to load. Close that down. Don't need it anymore. Close the other ones down just so it runs a little bit faster. Um, you can do this now. You can right click it and convert to an instance. I got some assets out here. So we've got a cube, which I can use it on. And we've got some barrels here. So if we watch them going up and down with the water. Now, the reason we made it an instance, because I have this one value I can change. So it comes up like this, you can click that tick box. Now, if we want these to look like they're bobbing lower and higher than the water, but staying at the same speed, because the sign uh, we kept it the same. Make it 35, for example, and it will look like it's coming underneath the water a bit more. And as the water comes up, it pushes itself out the water a bit more, which looks, you know, a little bit nicer than having it perfectly in sync with the water. I hope this helped anyone who just wanted some basic buoyancy, nothing too fancy, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.